Bill Ingram for Hoops World TV here with John Henson of the North Carolina Tar Heels. About to be in the draft. First of all, tell me, uh, it's a proud school. A lot of some particularly good players have come from your school. Um, does that help you? Does that, the process of those having so many great guys go on before you? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, you get to ask them questions and then kind of figure out what they went through the process and what to do and what not to do. And also, you got some older guys that can kind of help you through your first years in the NBA and the league. And, uh, you know, I'm going to use every resource we have, you know, at UNC to, our event, to my advantage. So. Does the pressure of playing for a school like that, Michael Jordan School, I mean, so many, so we mentioned Michael because he's a marquee name, but so many guys have gone through there. Is the pressure of playing at that school? help you for the pressure perhaps of playing in the NBA? Oh yeah, it, it helps a lot and also you have pride, you know, you want to represent the, the North Carolina name on you and uh, that's what you want to do and you want to go out every day and, and work hard and, and show them what you do at uh, North Carolina and just spread everywhere. So Now you've had to work very hard to get to this point, but the work you're going to have to put in to make it at the next level is going to be very trying. Are you prepared for the everyday grind of, you know, basketball being full-time now, no more classes, no more, no, it's, it's all basketball. Um, I think it's a great thing that basketball's full-time now, but uh, it's going to be tough and, uh, you know, you know, it's easy to get there, but hard to stay there. And uh, that's kind of what my motto is. And, uh, and that's what I'll be working on, you know, throughout my career. What do you think is, if there's something people maybe don't understand about your game that you think you're going to prove to people as you go through this draft process? Um, I think, you know, offensively I can do a little more than people think I can. Uh, and uh, But uh, also, you know, I know defense is, one, is my calling card. And, uh, you know, I think me being able to impact the game without having the ball in my hands at all times is something that, you know, is working out for me real well. So, Are you prepared for, you're going to walk into a room and it's going to be Larry Bird. It's going to be, you know, some of the the legends of the, if it's Charlotte, it's Michael Jordan. You know, some of these guys, are you ready for that? kind of you know I got to work hard and oh, forget yeah. who it is yeah I'm ready for that and uh, you know it's just, it, it comes down to you know you, what you've done for your whole career and uh, you know you got to go out there and show those guys what you can do and uh, you know everything to take care of yourself this is a situation where you're projected to be a lottery pick mm -hmm. you're gonna beat out a lot of guys are you ready to you know it's kind of like you're taking somebody's job I mean are you ready for the fierce competition of that oh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be fierce and uh, you know it's people's livelihoods and uh, it's something that you know you got to go in with the mindset of you got to play hard and uh, you know hopefully uh, it'll, everything will work out for the best. Finally, who's who are the people or the person who is kind of, you know, on the days where you're like, I just can't take one more jump shot, I can't dribble one more ball, who's the person that has pushed you to the point that you are now on the radar of the elite basketball, you know, in the draft? Uh, probably my dad, you know, he, he just he kind of sends me texts every other day and just kind of tells me to keep working and, you know, we got a month left and, hey, this is the hardest part and, and you know, my dad just keeps pushing me and, uh, you know, I thank him for that because there's been some rough days around here and, uh, you know, fortunately you weren't here for one of them, but it, it's been some rough days here. So and I guess finally we we should give some props to John Lucas. How's he helping your game here in oh, Houston? He's helped me a lot, you know, just, uh, you know, little things, whether it's, you know, using the right pivot foot or, or spacing and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I think I'm getting a lot better.